Hey guys, Drifter here, welcome to Ghost In Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the PDW Machine Pistol. This is in the handgun category in the game, in the secondary weapons, but it is not a submachine gun, nor is it a pistol. It is a burst fire pistol or a machine pistol. Previously, before everything was patched, before the game was released in its pre-released sort of beta state, this was a four-round pistol, but it's recently been changed to a three-round burst pistol, so it's more similar to a 93R or Rafika from other Call of Duty games. The gameplay that you're going to be seeing is me using this handgun in a variety of unusual situations and attachments. I'm going to focus mainly on the optical attachments, but you're also going to see it with several barrel and magazine altering attachments. It's going to be a little bit chaotic, and each clip's going to be a little bit different, but I hope you enjoy it. Let's talk about the damage on this pistol first. It'll deal 45 damage in close quarters combat, but drop off to 17 damage at a distance. This means if you're up close to somebody, it takes three shots to kill them, or one burst, or if they're really far away, it could take up to six shots to kill, or two complete bursts. This is the lowest damage damage secondary in the game. All of the other pistols have a higher either up close or far distance. Most of them are better in both categories. And that is only fair because this one is an automatic pistol to an extent or burst pistol. They don't want to be, have you be able to spam very high damage. Speaking of damage, again, the headshots will deal 1.5x damage. This is a little bit higher than most of the other pistols. And that's generally going to mean one less shot to kill at most ranges. And at close range, two shots to the head is going to drop somebody very, very quickly. And speaking of range, I'm not going to use that transition again, I promise you. It has a moderately good three-shot kill range. It's better than the two-shot kill range on a lot of other pistols, or, you know, this is the one trigger pull, one burst if they all hit kill range, and that's 11.8 meters. That is a little bit better than, say, the P226 or the Magnum or a lot of these other one and two-shot kill ranges, but it's not going to feel as good as you think it is because if you've played other Call of Duty games, you're going to want to treat this like the Rafika from MW2 or like the 93R from Black Ops 2, and it doesn't quite have that same range or accuracy or uh, ease of use so you're going to want to go for these really long one shot kills and you're not going to be able to get them just remember the three shot kill range is up very close only and anything outside of close range you're going to need to spam a little bit more shoot a lot more shots the rate of fire on this weapon is much lower than the Rafika or the 93R. Those weapons both shot at 937 RPM. They were very fast. You'd pull the trigger and they'd spam out bullets. Interestingly enough, the uh, 93R on Black Ops 2, the first two rounds shot at something like 1200, and then the third one was slower, which was a little bit weird. But this one shoots at 789 RPM. That is slower than any of the previous burst fire pistol games in any call, uh, burst fire pistols in any Call of Duty game. And the total rate of fire, when you include the burst delay, and there is a small small burst delay with the rate of fire of the burst and all that stuff is 420 RPM which would make it one of the slower firing pistols. There are semi-automatic pistols in this game where if your trigger finger is good enough you can shoot faster than 789 RPM and almost all of them except for maybe the Magnum which is slow of course you can fire faster than 420 RPM so it is a very low rate of fire pistol which you wouldn't think so for being a machine pistol and a burst weapon. Thankfully the uh, burst delay is short it's not too hard to deal with it's very present it feels kind of of like the M16 from MW3, I'm going to say it's about uh, two tenths of a second, maybe a quarter of a second, something like that. Those are the most common numbers for burst delay, and this is to make sure that you're actually being accurate with your shots instead of just throwing them out there and letting them land wherever. The recoil is moderate to low. I wanted to say that it had low recoil, but it really doesn't. It kicks more than you think that this type of pistol was wood because we've been conditioned to think that they're accurate, whereas they're really not. This one kicks up considerably more than previous variations of machine, of mach of machine pistols, so if you do the thing where you try to shoot like upper chest or guts up and tits up and expect your last shot to hit them in the head it's really not it's going to hit over their heads i would actually recommend that you aim about in the groin and then it'll kick up chest neck and head it does have a very high center speed so the recovery between shots and the recovery between bursts is excellent but the recoil in the burst itself is a little bit something it leaves a little bit to be desired the PDW does have a tight hip fire spread. This makes its hip fire very doable, especially if you're doing close quarters combat. You can just spam from the hip and kill in three shots pretty close. It does have an akimbo viability to it. I really did not like this weapon akimbo for some reason. For whatever reason, I did not have a feel for it. You don't actually have any akimbo gameplay here either, but it's doable akimbo. The aim down sight time is the same as all the other handguns at 0.2 seconds. Nothing very special about that, except that it is a quick aim down sight time, I and mean, you would assume that it would be with a pistol. Reload time on this this one is very slow at 2.96 seconds whether your magazine is empty or if it still has a round in the chamber the magazine time is exactly the same at just about three seconds the reload cancel is over 50 percent faster it is way way faster at 1.33 seconds so if you master the art of reload canceling if you're good at it if you get the timing down i would always 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 recommend that you reload cancel with the pdw because it will save you a lot of heartache 
Magazine size is 12, and with extended mags, that's 18. That sounds like a lot, but it's not really considering the fact that you shoot three rounds per burst. And if you go by this measurement, that means you can pull the trigger either four times or six times, which isn't a whole lot of trigger pulls. It'll feel more like the Magnum and how quickly you burn through your ammo. And you only get 24 stock ammo to start with. You do not have a lot of extra ammo in this weapon, not a lot of extra carrying capacity. And again, that's to kind of discourage spamming and encourage accurate shooting. So I would highly encourage you to either run fully loaded or scavenger if you're using this as a primary class or if you do if you intend to use it more than just a last ditch backup at all the sights are good and I buy sights I mean iron sights but they do kick up a lot uh, an interesting kind of thing there are these two holes on either side of the sight it seems like there may have been an option or they're modeling after a real pistol like there were some sights there like you could aim with those on those little holes because they look like crosshairs but you do use the default iron sights they kick up a lot while you're shooting especially by the time you get to your third shot uh, of, of the burst that is you probably won't see what you're shooting out a whole lot but focus helps a lot focus helps you win gunfights with this one because chances are due to the slow burst you're going to get shot while you're shooting somebody and you want to have focus on so that you don't flinch as much I, I ran focus with this as much as possible it was very nice when it comes down to do I like this pistol or do I don't I'm kind of gonna go with the crowd here I honestly do not like this pistol this feels more like a last ditch effort gun. This feels more like a sniper that gets bum rushed and doesn't know what he does so he just breaks out this and starts trying to spray with it. I am not saying that this is a bad pistol. After using it for a considerable amount of time for this in depth it is a good pistol. Almost all the secondaries in this game are good but it requires a very special kind of use that I do not have the patience for and most people just prefer to spam with it so in the average person's hand this isn't going to be what you think it is. My recommendation on how to use this pistol is you want to use it with the red dot sight. I had by far the best gameplay and the best luck just using the red dot sight because it was very clear and it allowed me to hit my target because this pistol does require a high degree of accuracy with a relatively slow rate of fire of the burst. Muzzle break is another good one. The damage drop off is a little bit sharper than what I would like it to be and with muzzle break I'm extending my three shot kill range. That's very important. And lastly extended max has been a very good one so that I can fire more without reloading. It's generally taken me most of my magazine to kill one person or at least two thirds of it so having extra bullets has been very very helpful and how I would recommend playing with this weapon is that you do not spam it. You'll, you're going to want to pick this up and say it's a three round burst this is the old graphic I can just pop 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 and it'll just spray 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 spray. It won't do that and the burst is so slow that people can actually move out of the way of the burst and not get hit by all of it. You're going to have to follow your targets and track them in the burst and hit very accurately and shoot low on the chest so that it kicks up and hits them in the head. Again the red dot sight helps the most with this more than any other optics I've found and it is a viable weapon but it requires a degree of patience that I've said it again and again and again this is not a spam weapon this is a high skill pistol but in the highly skilled hands it can be very effective well guys that's all for this episode of in-depth I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something useful if you'd like to check out the previous episode on the grok you can click the box on the left that'll open in a new window if you'd like to check out the next episode that's going to be on the p226 which is my personal favorite pistol that's why I saved it for last you can op open that in a new window when it's live and as always, if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.